What's up, guys? I'm Xavier. Um, so I'm starting a channel for Hacker Rank and Link Code. I'm starting with Hacker Rank just to learn the new Java language since it's new to me. So starting off easy, I'll get harder as I progress. I'm a senior computer science student, so I'm applying for jobs and internships. So I've been working on these a lot. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So the first one is uh, Java Array List. So um, teaches you how to use a Java Array List. Um, so if you are given n lines, in each line there are zero more integers. You need to answer a few queries where you need to tell the number located in y th position of x line. <clears throat> so here is the first line is n followed by n lines, so there will be five lines. The first number in each line is D, which represents how many numbers come after it. And then finally, after the five lines, you have Q, which tells you how many Q queries there are. And then in each query, there's X right here, and then Y. So it's telling you to move, I'll put the number located in y's position of x line, so three and the third position in the first line right here. So let's jump right into it. You basically have to write the code from scratch. So uh, you start with scanner to read stuff in. New scanner system dot in. So you're gonna read in the, or no, you gotta read in n equals scanner dot next int. And then, so to solve this problem, we're gonna need a, we're using an array list data structure. So we're gonna need a, basically a 2D array. Array list is basically just a, a vector in Java, essentially. So we're going to, Array list, array list. So we're creating a 2D array list of integers. Um, so list, new array list. No, array list integer. Okay. So once we have that, we're gonna loop through the um, the lines and store each row into. So we're gonna store each row into another array. I'll show you here in a sec. Well, i is less than n, so we're looping through each of the rows. And then i. Alright, so we need, uh, first things first, we're going to scan for D, which is, so D is the space separated integers in each row. Scanner dot next int. So, and then we're going to need another array. This time it's just going to be one dimensional. So actually I'm going to do this. Well, I'm going to name this one row because it's just one row. You'll see in a second. Okay, I think that's right. It should know. Yeah, so it's gonna have D elements in the array list. Then we're going to, so for int equals zero. So we're gonna do another for loop where this for loop is for the first, for each row. So we're gonna loop through all of these and then after that loop inside here, it's gonna kick back out to the outer loop, move to the next line and do it again and add the numbers. So while j is less than d, j 
J plus plus int. So wait, what was this called? Int. Uh, oh, well, I just I guess just value equals gonna get the next int. So we're gonna do row dot add. value. So yeah, that's it. So that will get each row and then we're going to add the row to the 2D list. So so now we're adding, this is our 2D array. Um, so we're adding each row to the list. And then we need to get Q. So Q is coming up next right here. Uh, so int q equals scanner next and then we're gonna loop through uh, so yeah we're gonna loop through q for int i equals zero I wanna make sure help me Okay, this is supposed to be actually out of the for loop. I made a mistake there. Since we're, this is completely separate. I less than Q. I plus plus. So then we're gonna, for each new line of Q, we're gonna grab X and then Y, so int x equals scanner dot next int um, and int y equals scanner dot next int and then we are going to see so we're going to try and see um, if the number is, so we're gonna print it, system that out, that print, and so we're gonna go into list, dot get, so x, so if x is um, the first line, so we're, do, we're gonna go here, but this is the zeroth index, so we have to do x minus one dot get again because now we're going to to two D array. So we got we're in the first index, which is the first line, and then we need the y th y minus one index again because it wants the third number, but it's this is not zero indexed like it is in Java. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna have a catch statement so index out of bounds exception e so that's just java syntax that you'll learn as you go along print ln error so hopefully i didn't make any mistakes let's see Wrong answer. Not great. Error. Oh, it just needs an exclamation point. It looks like. Okay, perfect. So it worked. Second try. Just a minute. Let's see if it passed the test case. It's perfect. All right. So I'll try and explain it again. Um, the biggest thing is you need a two D array. So we have a two D array list here. Um, so it's first it's storing the rows and then in each row it's storing the values so this picture helps a lot obviously this is a 2d array or array list so yeah we just loop them through um, seems pretty easy um, so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video